Um, sometime in the year um, 2013, myself and my wife, or my friend then, now my wife, we were talking about the things we like, um, about life and um, the things we are passionate about. And one thing both of us agreed upon was um, Psalm 27 verse 4, which says, one thing that I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. This was one um, thing we were, were able to agree upon. At age eight, I was already a member of the church, of the choir at my parents' church. And so I literally grew up in the church choir. God called me to serve through my parents. And to be honest, I was faithful and diligent with service. Many years down the line though, a combination of factors affected my time spent in church. I moved from the front seats to get into church late, having to sit at the back rows. I became passive in church. At first, I attributed this to trying to find a higher purpose. Maybe being in the choir was getting boring. I wanted more. Then I thought it was because I now have a family of my own, so I got too busy, or maybe I just got too lazy. We moved to Calgary less than two years ago, and by divine providence, we found FSC, Southwest Campus. I still cannot tell what changed in me, but I know that the zeal to serve came upon me. And after discussing with my wife, she encouraged me to speak with someone about it. So I met Paul, who was in the sound room, who gave me a form to complete and introduced me to Pastor Dave. Everything happened faster than I thought and an auditioning was organized for me. Fast forward post COVID, I was on stage ministering once again. I thought this could have only been by God's grace. He was patient with me. It was right there all along. I'm grateful for this opportunity. It was this love, this amazing grace that compelled me to want to serve. Cares of life are real. The number of feelings toward God. And because of this grace, this God's grace, we think all is well. It's difficult to dig deep into the soul. It is just like living on autopilot, following the winds and waves of life. Oh, this overwhelming, never-ending, reckless love of God. How it chases me down, fights till I'm found, lives to 99.